the probably the two most common injections that I do in the regenerative world is gonna be prolotherapy and PRP. And so I wanted to spend a second to help talk you through how I think about when prolotherapy is gonna be a bit more indicated versus PRP. And so when we think about that question, a few things come to mind. The first thing is going to be what tissue are we treating and what pathology are we treating? And so what I mean by that is there's different tissues that we can treat with the regenerative injections. We can treat tendons, we can treat ligaments, we can treat nerves, we can treat joint spaces. Those are kind of the main tissues that we're gonna be treating, also fat pads. And then on the other side, it's what's the pathology? Are we dealing with an acute inflammatory? Are we dealing with more of a chronic degenerative condition? Those are kind of the two big buckets that kind of put them into. But then there is also this kind of chronic degenerative plus inflammatory condition, which is going to be things like osteoarthritis of a particular joint. We have the chronic degeneration of the cartilage, yet we still have inflammatory markers, TNF-alpha, IL-6, the matrix metalloproteinases that are present inside the knee joint that are inflammatory, but not the traditional inflammatory markers we think of like neutrophils. And so that's the first thing we want to think about. So when a patient comes in, if they are mainly dealing with a chronic degenerative condition, such as ligament laxity or tendinosis of a tendon or a ligament, both prolotherapy and PRP are gonna be indicated, and then the degree of the degeneration is typically what's gonna lean me towards one or the other. What I mean by that is this, if a patient comes in and they have a, they chronically sprain their ankle, so they chronically just roll that ankle, maybe they play basketball, baseball, some other sport, tennis, something like that, where they sprain their ankle quite a bit. There's no major tears, there's no major joint issues, it's mainly just that they have this ligament laxity in the ligament. Both prolotherapy and PRP are going to be effective for this patient. However, when we look at the invasiveness and the cost difference between the two, it's usually more cost effective to go down the route of prolotherapy treatments and do kind of one to two to three of those versus going to the PRP treatments. However, if the degeneration is pretty significant, so let's say, for example, we have severe degeneration in the supraspinatus tendon, it's been going on for a long time, there's fatty infiltration now in the tendon, there's some small partial tears, some micro tearing, in those situations, it's going to be more beneficial long-term to look at the PRP side of things because the cost-benefit ratio is gonna lean more towards the PRP. 